There's Gimbal. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Rita. Uh, I'm going to jump on right here. Here we go. Hi, Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Let's go. We're going to do our 40 minute session right here. Here we go. Um, stepping back here. Small group. Hopefully, we will uh, add some people. But if not, you guys, I'm honored to have you on. All right. There's Patricia Lacatos. <clears throat> All right, hope everyone's feeling good. The sun's coming up. We got a nice cool day out here. We will play around just a bit. So let's go wide stance here. Wide stance with your feet kind of still parallel. Now rotate to one way, right? Hips drop down. The arm on that side comes up overhead. Nice stretch right there. Breathe right into that. Then rotate your feet. Bring the other arm up. Ah, should feel good. Let's go the other way. Breathe it. Open that up, shoulder, hip. It's one of my new favorites, in case you guys haven't noticed. Breathe. Ah, so good. Yeah, if we're gonna get tight, we tend to get tight here in the hip, tend to get here, tight here in the, in the pec and here on the lat. So this is gonna open up all those things. Here we go, let's go one more each side. And hand position is important. Let's go thumb up to the sky. Other side. There we go. All right, it's nice. Good. Let's face forward. Let's go knees touch the opposite hand. Here we go. Cycle right through that. That's easy. As always, we go known to unknown. This is the easy stuff. Ah, good stuff. Blue sky, cool air. Well, I see one for Friday. All right, that's good. Let's go shoulders rolling back. Pull them onto the back. Good. Good, let's go the other direction. Bring them forward. Nice, all right, let's take those arms. Let's swing them forward and back. Easy, nice and soft, loose. Soft through the knees. And bring the arms in opposition. Swing one way. <sighs> Good. Let's swing the arms just a little higher. Touch the arms at the top. Touch the hands at the top. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Good. If you can, you can keep going in a circle. That's a little more challenging. But if you got that, go ahead and do that a couple times. That's good. All right, let's take the shoulder blades, squeeze them to the back. Bring the fingertips to the back of the head right here. Elbows together and apart. Squeeze them back. Bring them together. Get that retraction in those shoulder blades, opening it up. Again, if the elbows, you want to keep the elbows, I'm, I'm screwing this up too. Don't bring the elbows down in the back. Keep the fingertips close to the head. There we go. All right, go ahead and drop. Let's go. Uh, actually, let's do this one. Let's just go easy, left to right. Get that uh, side movement. Let's just add this. Bring the arm over. Arm over top. 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 Let's get forward and back. Here we go. <laughs> and take it in a full circle, allowing the shoulders to move and the hips to move. So it's really full spinal action here. You guys know how this works. Back. Take it around. Taking it on up. And then go ahead and drop it on down to a hip circle. Good squeeze as you come forward. 
Go ahead and reverse that. Squeeze the glutes as you go forward. Squeeze as you go forward. All right, so we're going to play around with a little warm-up squat, okay? So I want to just pan the camera down just a little bit. So here is a multi-phase multi, multi -phase thing. We're going to fold here at the hips. Let yourself round, though. Then take hold of whatever you got. So some people, they just got the ankles or the shins. Some people got the feet. Now I want you to squat down as low as you can. Pull the elbows between the, uh, the knees. And then hips go up again, and then you stand, okay? So fold, grab whatever you got, squat down, low, hips come up, and then you come up, okay? Multiple phases, do a few more of those, fold, squat, bring your chest up, then hips come up, and you stand, a couple more, fold, squat, draw the chest up, hips come up, and you roll up, fold, squat, hips, Roll, last one, fold, squat, hips, roll, there we go, all right, nice job. So, we're gonna work on a variation on the, on the stiff leg deadlift, so let's go at free hand, hand, uh, uh, um, the, this leg is gonna swing back, the, the hand that's gonna touch the opposite foot, it's gonna go across, and this leg is gonna go back. I'm explaining that terribly, but I think you guys get the idea. This leg goes back, we touch here, and then we come back up. That opposite hand touches the other standing foot. So we're reaching across our body to touch opposite foot. Take a couple reps to figure that out. You wanna uh, have the back foot, this reach across the body helps that back foot rotate toward the floor. So we're not opening way up, right? And if you can, reach even further past your foot. So it's not just in front of the foot, but it's past it. And then we're really getting into that hamstring in the right way. All right. Keep going. Hopefully you got it figured out by now. All right. <laughs> Find your balance. Balance not always the easiest thing to have. There we go. There we go. Man, I got sore hamstrings today. Just playing around with some. New moves yesterday, all right. Good, let's go ahead and do some quad stretching while we're at it. Before the mosquitoes discover us too much. Yep, bitten here. Pull it up. Nice stretch each time. Nice stretch, nice stretch, nice stretch. Yes, and let's go ahead and take it into the external rotation right there. This one is key. I don't often do this with you guys, but because um, I don't uh, typically don't have time at the end, but if you can repeat this one in your life, externally rotating that leg, even placing your leg up on a countertop or a table and holding onto the stretch static for, you know, 60 to 90 seconds, something like that, do each side, that is very useful. Because this uh, whole hip rotating complex, whole glute area tends to get pretty tight in those of us that sit a lot. And that's pretty much everybody, myself included. All right, good, that's pretty good. Let's just jump just a little bit, 10 minutes in. Nice and easy, soften through the shoulders. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of late sending out the link today, so maybe, maybe uh, people aren't showing up as much. But to let you guys know, it's always the same link. Always the same link. I sent it out just for convenience. But if for some reason I don't get it, you guys are there, just pull up an old one. Or you can, you can have a little copy of it on your desktop. All right, good. Nice and easy. Let's go jumping jacks. Very soft, very easy. Three, one. Five. Let's go a little faster, just a touch faster. Two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five. Good. A little faster, just a little faster. Whatever you got, right? Two, one, two, three, 
two, three, four, one, two, three, five. All right. There we go. Shake out the wrist just a little bit. Get those alive. Bring some energy and some life in there. You can shake out a foot. Didn't do too, many, too much ankle stuff, but that's okay. All right. That's our warm up. We intensify things just a little bit, but stick around. Stick around. See what you can do today, right? See what you can do today. See what's possible for you. Okay. So we're going to start because we warmed up with the squat, right? So we're going to play around with some squat, um, squatting in our, in our workout here. Okay. Now, some people have really deep squats. I know some people that are on there today are really good at getting really low in that squat, right? And that's awesome. Some people have a little harder time because of ankle flexibility or hip mobility or something. You always just work with what you have, right? So if your squat today looks like this, that's totally fine. If your squat is all the way down where your leg is doing this at the bottom, that's great too, okay? So just work with what you can, okay? So we're gonna do double squat into reverse lunge, one side and then the other side, okay? So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna squat down two times, squat, squat, and one leg's gonna come back, and the other leg's gonna come back. So we do one side and then the other side. And we're gonna, let's add this, squat, squat, when you do your reverse lunge, touch the front foot, touch, touch, okay? There's our move, let's jump into it right now through 45 seconds. Double squat, 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 reverse lunge, reverse lunge. So you can touch that front foot. If not, touch the knee, touch the shin, okay? Touch the ankle, all right? Do what you can, yeah? Double squat, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, alternating sides. Stick with it. John Shorter's joints, good to see you. Good to see you guys, this is the old guard. This is like old school boot camp here. We've added Rita Robbins. So glad she's here too. Let's keep going. We've got about 14 seconds to go. You do what you can, right? Always what you can, yeah? It's not like, oh, I can't do the whole time. I got to turn off. No, just keep going. Do what you can. And when you're done, you're done. Good. Stop right there. That's a 45-second set. Well done. All right, let's jump it in. Let's mix it up. Let's go crazy. We're going to do some core today. Mixing that up with up. So, let's work with the uh, push-up position. Give me one leg lift, give me the other leg lift, and then go ahead and open with one arm, and then open with the other arm, okay? And then back. So we have leg lift, leg lift, open. All right, should feel good. We're warming up the glutes and we're also Open up the chest and shoulders. Let's keep going. Here we go, let's go 30 more seconds. We're holding that nice strong push-up position. Now check it in the camera. Make sure your push-up is not turning into a down dog. This is push-up. I'm straight. This is down dog. The butt is up. So here, lift, lift. Now the tendency is gonna be, I swear, when you lift the leg, you're gonna, your hips are gonna wanna try to help by lifting. I don't want that. I want the hips still down, down, and rotate up, feel that nice open feeling on the other side, okay? So although this movement is not the most difficult, you want to do it precisely. You want to do it with nice form. Good. Let's keep going about seven more seconds, just a couple more reps, get that nicely open, should feel kind of good. Nice and strong, three, two, one, stop, good. Let's come on the back. Come on the back, we thought we were done, but no. Wrist and legs, now if you've got a dumbbell, you can grab it. You don't have a dumbbell, if you're not feeling it, just stick with arms overhead. So whether or not you have a dumbbell, the arms go overhead with the palms facing one another. I'm gonna draw a knee in, then the other side. This is the famous fist and legs. Let's do it. Right like that. Draw the knee in tight. Make sure the knee is staying close to the center line. Don't bring it out here like this. Center line. This arm is here, these arms are here. These ribs drawn in, tight, okay? So details are important. Lower back is on the ground. Let's keep going. About another 15 seconds on this. Draw the knee in tight and go for it. All right. Hopefully everyone's got a little sweat going now. This is good. Five seconds to go, then we'll bounce up back to our double squat, reverse lunge. Here we go. Three, two, one, done. Good. Bounce on up. Take a deep breath or two. Here we are, upright. Back to squat. Here we go. Starting now. Squat. 
squat. Take it back, reverse lunge, touch. First lunge, touch, best you can. Then we're back to our position. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge. So good, just keep running right through that. Nice tight form, right? So when we do reverse lunge, there's a balance thing, right? When we do the squat, there's a mobility thing, right? Now, ideally, you're keeping your heels down, okay? Your heels are down on the um, floor, flat. If you want, you can also elevate your heels slightly, maybe on the edge of your mat. You got a couple hooks. It's a little more awkward because then you tend to kick them. But something like that, elevating your heels can help you get a little more depth on your squat. Let's keep going. Five seconds, all right? Keep going. Then we're going to go back to, we're going to do another cycle through the abs. Good. Stop. Okay, here's our abs. This time, in our support, we're going to go to the plank, all right? Let's go uh, forest parallel, palms down, extend the legs out, tuck the pelvis under, nice and strong. Now, if you, are, if you feel strong in a plank, walk yourself back so your elbows are in front of your shoulder. Hold on to that, tuck the pelvis under, hold that strong. Now, that might be enough for you. If it's not, lift the leg and lift the leg, alternating sides. Woo, that's a good one. People think planks are easy. They're not easy. So we're going to hold this about another 10 seconds, okay? So pretty nicely stretched out. The pelvis is tucked under. Make sure that lower back isn't going into extension. It's tucked under. The stomach is strong. You should be feeling this. You should be shaking by now. I don't care how fit you are. If you do this right, that stomach's really going to, going to shake. Okay, good. Stop. Well done. Let's flip it over on the back. And let's advance this one notch, too. Let's go into alternating leg, leg lowers. So. Here we are, same setup with the upper body. You can grab the dumbbell if you want. One down, two down. One down, two down. Now, if this is really hard, just bend your legs 90 degrees and go one, two, one, two. If it's really easy, start the legs at 45 and go one, two, one, two. Now you'll notice that one leg is still. So I'm not doing scissor, scissor, scissor kick. I'm doing one down and then back up, the other down and back up, okay? We want to make sure to get our form nice and solid here. Let's keep this going about another 10 seconds, all right? Keep your form nice and solid. Your version, you can go easy, medium, or harder. Whatever you're up for. If you start harder, it gets too hard, regress it by one notch, all right? Good. You're done. Bounce on up. Let's get one more round. Squat into reverse lunge. Now, if you're feeling it, grab your dumbbells. You want the third set to be the best, most intense set. It's not like, oh, thank God, I'm almost done. Grab your dumbbells, get some grit here, let's dig into it, okay? Starting in three, two, one. Dumbbells, if you have them, squat, squat, reverse, reverse. Back, squat, squat, reverse, reverse. Now, I don't know if you saw what I did there, but you wanna, you wanna um, do, start with a different leg, alternate, the leg that you start with on your lunge each time. So if I go squat, squat, and I go reverse lunge right, reverse lunge left, next time go reverse lunge left, then right, okay? It's just to make sure we're staying even, we're staying coordinated on both sides. So we don't always have to turn to the left, we always have to turn to the right. Good, we're getting there, five seconds, dig in, get that, get that squat to go low, get that lunge to go back far, get that back knee to go close to the ground. All right, three, two, one, we're done, good. Abs one more time. Okay, here's our support on this guy. We're gonna go push up position. We're gonna go leg lift. We're gonna go knee across. Then we're gonna go other side lift. All right, let's go solid through that. 45 seconds, here we go. Nice and strong, hold that push up position. Now make sure that lower back doesn't go into that arch, right? Keep it tucked under, keep it strong. Stay strong through the abs, okay? Again, now on this one, say you, say you can't do it. Say you're like, ah, this is too hard. Couple of options. You can just hold that position, push up position for a moment, take some breaths, and then continue, all right? You can cut one portion up. You can just do the leg raise, or you can just do the knee and chest, okay? Many, many options. Take a pause if you need it. Good, we're getting there, about five seconds to go. We got our last one in here. Three, two, one, 
Finito. Good job. Let's go to the back. Okay, friends. So, if you want to stick with what you did before, the single leg lowering, that's cool. If you want the next level, we're going to go open the book. We've got to do it. Open the book, super important. So here we are, lower back on the ground, right? Arms here, dumbbell if I want it, right? Lower down both legs, breath out, bring it up. Now, I can progress this a number of ways. I can go little movement here, little movement with my legs, right? I can bend my legs just like I did before. Or I can do, as you did before, single leg, right? Or single leg bent, or even single leg bent, head down on the ground. If I lower my head, I want to still make sure my lower back is glued to the ground. All right, lots of options, lots of talking. 15 seconds to go. Stay with it, right? We're really creaming the core today. And we got 19 minutes to go. Everyone's doing great. Three, two, one, done. Well done, good. Come on up. That's nine sets of glory. Go ahead and grab a uh, drink of water if you need it. And we'll move on, do some upper body here. Some more upper body. Okay, so on upper body, we're gonna play around with uh, a bear row, and we're gonna play around with, you know what? Let's, let's hybridize it. That's what I was gonna do, hybridize the things. Do together, so. We're on bear row. We need a pair of dumbbells. Some men, men are on dumbbells, or you can go with soup cans or something like that, okay? You just need something that you can hold on to that's nice and firm and solid, okay? So hold on to your dumbbells. Hold on to your dumbbells like this. Now, a couple of options here. This is, this is actually Renegade Row. Now, if you want to go, if you want to make it easier, you can go on your knees, right? Or I can even go all fours like this. So three levels. Level one, push-up position. Level two, knees, but I'm still a straight line from the knees to my head. Level three, all fours. You choose your level, okay? Here we go. From whatever position you're in, we go one and two. One and two. One and two. That's your move. That's your renegade row. Let's stick with that for about another 25 seconds, okay? Pull it back, all right? So we're, we're supporting. Make sure you're nice and strong through that supporting arm. You're pulling back with the other arm. We're nice and solid through that back, okay? Right? If that's not easy, if that's not possible for you, just go with all fours. Just go with all fours. Lift one, lift the other one. The key here on this one is we get into here, into the last. Pull this back, all right? The other side, pull it back. Put your move. Stay with it. Stay strong. Good job. And three, two, and one. Good. Okay. <coughs> kneeling. Kneeling overhead press, curl and press. So I'm kneeling, right? So you just need to shift just a little bit. Curl one side up, press it up. As that one comes down, the other one comes up. We meet in the middle and then we extend. So we're doing this on the knees. Okay? Alternating sides. What this does, a little more core challenge, and it keeps us from cheating too much, okay? We don't want to cheat. Cheating's no good. All right, so let's keep, uh, keep strong. Curl, remember we're meeting in the middle, okay? So it's not one up, the other one up. We're meeting here in the middle. We got our biceps on, and then we reach up. Biceps on, reach. Biceps on, reach, okay? Let's keep going, 10 more seconds. Guys doing great, 16 minutes to go in this delightful workout on a Friday. Guys doing great, good, done, all right. Let's go back to Renegade Row, just to make it simple. Renegade Row and overhead press, very simple. So, here we go, back to our old setup. Knees, all fours, or push up position, let's go, here we go. Hold up one side, one side, one side, one side, one side, one side. Let's keep going. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna do this whole set with you guys. I'm gonna suffer right alongside you. Who's willing to do that? Who else is willing to do that except for me? Suffer, I'm gonna suffer right alongside you. Keep going, pull. We're getting there, 15 seconds to go. Try to keep this, the, the pelvis as still as you can. Still as you can. We're getting there, three, 
two, one. Zone on that one, good. Come to kneeling, all right? Feel yourself nice and solid on that. And that's left, one side, the other side. We curl it, we press it. Meet the middle, we curl and press. We meet, we curl and press. There we go. Cycling through, staying strong. Bam, bam. Oh yes, good. Stay with that. 15 seconds to go. You guys are doing very good, very strong. Nice, nice pump in the upper body, I imagine, right now. Got a little blood going. Things are loosening up, feeling good. Good job, five seconds to go. Then we're gonna go back into our final set. Three, two, one, done. Good job. Okay, here we go. Third and final round, renegade row, curl into overhead press. Come on down. Here we go. Find your position. Three, two, one, let's do it. One side and the other side. I'm gonna suffer you guys again. A full 45 seconds, right on the left side. Pull. 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 Look at your feet. You want your feet kind of wide on this one, wider than shoulder width. That will help you avoid a lot of rotating. Now look, I don't want to do this. I'm not turning my body. I want my feet vertical, right? Heels above toes. And I want to minimize the movement in my pelvis. Go on, how are we doing? 10 seconds to go, let's go, dig in. Don't roll the body. Keep the body straight, chest and hip face toward the ground. Pull, 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 and we're done, we got it. Okay, here we go. Kneel and curl the press. Woo, yeah. We thought upper body stuff wasn't hard, but it is. All right, take a deep breath. One side comes up, and the other side. Meet the middle. Let's get strong here. Reach it up. Getting into those shoulders. Play around with the rotation of the hand when you reach it up. Right? Some people are going to feel better in their shoulders with a kind of a hammer position like this. Some people are going to feel better with the palm rotated forward. Some people are going to feel a little more contraction through the muscle if they rotate it even further, a little more out. So you work with what you have. If you've got painful shoulders, probably that hammer position, this one, is going to be a little better for you. If your shoulders are happy, maybe take it a little bit more, rotate it just a little bit more, see if you can get into that deltoid just a little bit. All right? We're getting there. 28, 29, finito. That's two more exercises down, six more sets. Good job. Get yourself a drink of water. How are we doing? 758. 12 more minutes to go. You guys are doing great. Okay. What do we got left? We got a little gluteals, and we got a little, um, little more arms. I want to do some things where we're up on our feet here, okay? So we do some monster walks, but let's do monster walks with dumbbells, okay? So I'll show you what this is. No one needs, no one needs an exercise band on this one because we're going to do monster walks with dumbbells and with a little curl added, okay? Maybe a curl and a lateral raise. We'll see. Okay. So hold on to your dumbbells. So we're going to get down. Into a, um, into a horse riding stance. So the, the legs are bent, the feet are still roughly parallel, okay? I'm gonna hold my dumbbells here like this. I'm gonna step it out. Let's do two steps, okay? And then I'm gonna go curl, curl, okay? Step, step, curl, curl. Step, step, the whole time I'm gonna stay low, okay? I'm gonna stay nice and low, the knees are bent. Curl, curl, step. Step, curl, curl. Probably easiest to keep those dumbbells out of the way at shoulder height each time, all right? So a little step out, step out, so you can get in those glutes, nice wide step each time. Just keep going about 20 more seconds, all right? Stay low, get into those glutes, big step to the side, and give it a curl, give it a curl, all right? We're getting into the biceps today. <coughs> yes, we are, all right. We're getting there, five more seconds to go. We'll toss in some lateral raises just for fun. Good, done, all right. Dumbbells or no, okay? If you have the dumbbells. We want fairly light dumbbells on this, okay? So shoes, soup cans, five pounders, whatever you got. 10 pounders are okay, but it's a little tough, all right? So here's our move, we're just gonna lateral raise it. Lateral raise, simple. Full range lateral raise, nothing fancy. Bring it to the side. 
make sure you're getting into those, those, uh, uh, those um, what are they called? Lateral deltoids. Your side deltoids, right the side of the shoulder. Right? So focus on that lowering portion, right? If I just let them flop down, it's going to be a little too easy for me. Okay? I want to control it on the way down. I know I'm running out of time, Zoom. You don't need to tell me that. All right. Let's keep going. About eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hold on to your dumbbells. Again, let's go back to lateral stepping, monster walk, with a curl, a double curl on either side. So once again, horse riding stance, drop low. Here we go, starting five seconds. Let's start at the top, it's probably easiest. Step, step, curl, curl. This kind of looks like something out of Space Invaders. Remember that video game? These little kind of sidewalking creatures. Step, step, curl, curl, step, step, curl, curl. Total Space Invaders. Me, 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 me. These guys. There's these sort of sidewalking creatures, and you were an invader. They were invaders from space, and you had to defend humanity. All right, keep going. Ten more seconds on this, and we go back to the lateral raise. We're creaming the upper body today. It's going great. Eight minutes to go. Eight minutes. Good. Done with that. Lateral raise once again. We got our dumbbells. Let's get tall, okay? Let's get really refined. Really, um, um. Pay a lot of attention to our alignment here. So look at your feet. Are they parallel? Are they shoulder width? Or are we here? Or is a foot turned out? Look at it. Is it parallel and shoulder width? Then stand tall. Is your neck long or your shoulders down? All right. Once you have that, hold on to that while you do this move, while you do this lateral raise move. Bring it to the outside. Keep it long. Hold on to that column, right? So don't, one thing that people are going to do is they're going to thrust the hips forward to try to get some momentum. Don't do that. Keep the hips nice and still and the body a nice solid tree, right? Got that column strength right in the middle. Let's go 10 more seconds on this, getting into those lateral deltoids, right? So how do we do that? We turn, we pour T just a little bit, pour T, right? Don't go here, go here, all right? Three, two, one, done with that. Space invaders, here we go. Last set, all right? Find your horse riding stance. Bring the dumbbells up to shoulder, stunt, shoulder, shoulder height, and let's get started. Take it out, take it out, and let's double curl it. Double step and double curl. Step, step, stay low the whole time. We're working our um, uh, frontal plane, ability to step frontal plane. Now look, I just screwed something up. I want to point this out. Step with your outside foot, step with the right, and then catch up with the back. I, I, something was going wrong there. I realized when I step into my left, it's the outside foot that steps first. We curl. We're getting there. Probably feeling this in the shoulders, maybe a little in the legs. Nice. We're done on that. Let's get our last set of the lateral raises. This is six more sets, guys. This is awesome. Okay. So here we go. Check your stance. Parallel, shoulder width. Get tall, shoulders down. Look at yourself in the camera. Are you looking like this? Or are you looking nice and tall? Here we go, let's bring it out. Strong, rotate the wrist just a little bit. You're gonna get into that um, side and rear deltoid. That's what we want. We wanna get here and here. Not here so much, and certainly not here. We wanna stay out of that trap, right? The trap, no one really wants this look except for offensive linemen, right? Like, hey, right? Okay, let's keep going. Eight more seconds, last one of this, and we take a short break, and then we'll do just a little, little Scotia cardio just to remind our heart and lungs what they do. Nice, done. Stop, take a little break, grab yourself a uh, little drink, and we're gonna do some th something quick here, okay? All together, again, we're gonna suffer together, all right? So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a burpee challenge, okay? So we're gonna do, let's go 90 seconds of burpees, okay? And the burpee's gonna look like this. It's gonna go down, you're gonna take it into a mountain climber, and then we're gonna go, and then we're gonna stand, okay? Now, do not go crazy with this, okay? We don't wanna hurt the lower back. So take your time, make sure each rep looks good. Don't get sloppy with it, okay? 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, put our feet on our, our these are hands, hands on the mat, uh, tilt this down, hands on the mat, jump the feet back, then we're gonna do four mountain climbers, then we're gonna stand, okay? So fold, we're starting now, jump it out, one, two, three, four, back in, you can stand up if you want, good, and then you add a jump, okay? That's the full thing. So, good, one, two, three, four, you walk, or jump it in, and then jump up, okay? Fold, step it out, one, two, three, four, step it in, and jump, all right? There's our move, we're 20 seconds in. Let's fold it, one, two, three, four, jump, stand, stand and jump, okay? Keep going, fold, one, two, three, four, stand, okay? Now, maybe this is your pace. Down, step, pull it in, three, four, slowly walk it in and your jump is that high. That's cool. You just do what you can, right? Maybe your pace is bam, one, two, three, four, bam, okay? It's what you have today. All right, we're getting there. We got about 30 seconds to go, all right? So this is our last little thing of the day, so let's go ahead and put a, put a stopper on it. One, two, three, four, jump it in, and jump. Step it out, one, two, three, four, step it in, jump. There we go, 19 seconds, four, Jump, yeah, one, two, three, four, jump. Right, easy on the lower back, get about nine seconds to go. One, three, four, jump it in. One, two, three. Good, we did it. 90 seconds. Don't take much, y'all, right? If you're like, man, I haven't exercised at all today, do that for two minutes. Everything is working, right? You get the heart and lungs going. We got all the muscles going, got the hips going, got the lower body, we got some plyometrics going. That was 90 seconds, folks, okay? So don't ever tell me you don't have time to work out. You do 90 seconds and it's something, right? That in itself is extremely valuable. Going from nothing, no exercise, to just a little bit, massive change, massive change. So just do that much, right? Do the warm up. do a couple little bits, you know, any of the warm up moves that you know, that you remember. Just bring them online now and then. Just to remind your body what to do. All right, got about two minutes to go. Let's do a nice, easy cool down. All right, so nice, easy cool down. Let's spread the feet apart a little bit. All right, let's take the hands here, deep breath. I know I'm going out of screen here, but I'm just reaching up with my hands, palms spread wide. And then breathe out. Repeat that, breathe in. Breathe out as you bring the arms down. Repeat. Last one. Good. Let's go ahead and go back to this move. Rotate the hips. Bring the arm up. Ah, that should feel great at this point. Rotate. One more each side. Here we go. Back leg is straight. And down, other side, and down, good job. Let's go just for a moment here. Let's go palms together, here we go. Elbows out, feet together. Let's find some nice alignment, deep breaths right there. Just wanna thank you guys for being here. Zoom's gonna cut me off in just a minute, so let me just say thank you for being here. If you have no problem with it, go ahead and hit my suggested donation, 20 bucks a class. If not, just keep going. Please spread the word. I really want to get tons of people on this if I can. I'm working on that. So you can invite people, you know, in New York City if you want. You can invite people in, you know, Hong Kong. It's live. It's worldwide. All they need is the link. Deep breaths. When you're ready. Slowly bring those arms down, and that'll do it. Thanks a lot, everybody. Good workout. Have a great weekend. If I'm lucky, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 8. If not, I'll see you on Monday, okay? Thanks a lot for being here. Suggest a donation if you can hit it. Otherwise, just keep coming. And thanks for taking care of yourself. Stay connected. Stay healthy. And we'll see you soon. And Andrew Gutman, I'm going to wave to you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, this is my boot camp. This is my boot camp. I'm
Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday morning. If you want to jump in here anytime, please do so. Um, there's a suggested donation for regular people, $20 a class. We're going to change that to Patreon pretty soon. It's going to be a little bit more inexpensive.